this evening. I'm Annalisa Burgos. We begin in Waikiki, where a shooting near a busy intersection last night left one man in critical condition. Our Jelani Martinez has more from witnesses. Annalisa, police are looking for two armed suspects, but haven't said anything else about the shooting. We've reached out to HPD for updates, but have yet to hear back. Witnesses we spoke with heard the gunshots and say it sounded like fireworks. It didn't sound like a normal gunshot, it sounded kind of like an automatic. The shooting happened around 10 Friday night near the intersection of Kalaka Avenue and Lure Street. Police sources say the two suspects allegedly fired more than 20 shots and fled in a vehicle. And we ran into a cop that was like running on foot looking for the suspects. I refuse to accept this as the new norm. Um, so when I hear about these things, it's always surprising. Um, but we got to put an end to it and we can't let this become the new norm. It hasn't even been a year since 20 year old Marcus McNeil was gunned down near that same intersection a month before that shooting. Fast moving flames engulfed the backside of Moose McGillicuddy's on Lure Street. Some believe squatters set the shuttered pub on fire. Longtime neighborhood board member Jeff Mers says homelessness and crime are only getting worse in Waikiki. It's just not a good area to be late at night for the full range of reasons of, of what bars staying up late and drinking and fighting uh, causes. The former chairman of the Hawaii Bar Owners Association, Bill Comerford, says bars aren't to blame. He says it's due to a lack of enforcement on the streets. They have to have a control, just like we control the interior of our bars. They have to control the streets at the same time of night. Are they doing it or are they not? Both Murs and Comerford agree that there needs to be more foot patrol officers around Waikiki. They need to have a presence. I see more Waikiki Improvement Association cleanup crew in their green shirts than I do police officers walking the beat in Waikiki. I used to walk those streets all the time. No fears. I wouldn't do it these days. That's very sad. We've reached out to HPD for updates on the case and are still waiting to hear back. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.